Welcome back! We've just picked up our uh, sidekick, Crow, who is without a doubt my favorite character in the entire game. I think uh, that goes for most people who've played this game. And apparently we got a diary entry about him, or about something. Monday, July 31st. I have no idea what year it is in Arcadia. On the road north. I made a friend. He's very nice, very funny, and he's a bird. A talking bird. Crow. Also known as Bird. He's not actually a crow, but he reminds me of one. And his personality is a lot like Crow, like crow Boys, my favorite cartoon character. He escaped from his owner, or captor to be honest, and decided to join me on my little adventure. I'm just so happy to have someone to talk to, and with luck he'll be able to help me out in a, once in a while as well. We agreed that I'll use my flute to call on him whenever I need him. You may be able to tell from my writing, but there's a big... You may not be able to tell from my writing, but there's a big silly grin on my face right now. Okay. So we'll be able to call Crow by playing on the flute. I guess. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. That essentially means there's nothing for him to do right now. What the hell is this thing that's moving back there? I have no idea. Is it part of the tree or is it some animal? Okay, doesn't really matter. Let's move on into the forest. See, into the forest. That's what I said. What the hell is that? You may remember, but that's the same kind of creature we saw coming out of the jukebox. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Please, human, don't kill me and skin me. I haven't even sung to the soil yet. The same kind of creature we saw coming out of the jukebox in the fringe at the end of uh, chapter one, I think it was. It's uh, the same kind of... Uh, yeah, whatever it is. It's not really an animal, but yes, it can talk. Although, Crow's an animal, and he can talk. Okay, but anyway, I'm just confusing myself. Let's, um, talk to him. Okay, that's not very nice. Let's pick this one. Don't worry, I'm not going to kill you or skin you. Oh my, that is good news. Very good indeed. Who are you? My name's April. What's yours? In my language? It's Bandu Umana Banta Au Rubana Bitana Benort. It means the little one who tries hard to live up to his father who sings to the soil. That's rather long. That's a mouthful. So, um, what do I call you? You can call me Ben Bandu, the sad little one. Banda is the name of my people. We are the little ones. Why are you sad, Ben Bandu? I'm looking for my brother. He's been gone in the forest for many days, and I've not heard him sing to us. Our people don't walk about the forest much. It's too dangerous for us. You haven't seen my brother, have you? He's short, about my height, with a tan coat and a mischievous glint in his eye. You're the first mole. The first Banda I've met. Oh dear. I hope he's all right. A lot of our people have disappeared this summer. Oh yeah? What happened to them then? What happened to the Banda that disappeared? We don't really know. But there's something evil in this forest. Something that doesn't like the Banda. I shouldn't be out here looking, but I must find my brother. If I see him, I'll let him know you're looking for him. Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. Not entirely sure what where this comes from, because, as far as I know, April has never heard the term mole people used by anyone. Aren't your people called the mole people? That's what the city dwellers and farmers call us. They say it with sharp tongue. Moles. Dirt diggers. They don't like us very much. 
Our given name is Banda, the little ones. Or the Banda Banta, the little ones who sing to the soil. How do you sing to the soil? When we're old enough, and we found our voices, we just sing, and the earth shapes itself to our needs. We live in harmony with the earth, just like the birds do with the air. Good luck on your search, Ben Bandu, sad little one. And the best of luck to you, April. Please, if you see my brother, tell him to come home. We're all so very worried. Ah, oh, poor guy. Would have helped if he told us his brother's name. Ooh, we're calling Crow automatically. Hey, Crow, would you mind doing me a favor? I was having this tete a tete with a pretty young sparrow. But hey, Crow at your service. Did you say favor? Oh, sure thing. Unless it's something extremely... Uh, no, no, make that even remotely dangerous. I don't like dangerous. Not at all. Just scout out the forest from your vantage point. See if you can find Ben Bandu's brother. Ben who? The mole I just met. I thought you were supposed to be watching me. Didn't you pay attention? No. Uh, mole, you said. They're savages, a lot of them. You eat birds, even. Crow, I eat birds. You probably do, too. Hmm, yeah, I love a roasted duckling in a tangy orange... Oh, well, uh, yeah, 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 I see your point. Looking for a lost mole, then, are we? Yeah, and they're called the Banda. I never got into that whole PC thing. It's not Tyrox, it's the tyrant. Don't say chicks say birds. Don't say birds say women. I don't know. It's all a little too complicated for a simple man of the air like myself. Just go look for the lost mo- the lost Bandu, okay? Yes, ma'am. Every time he comes and goes, we're gonna see that animation. The bridge is out! Damn! Well, that sucks. The bridge has been completely destroyed. The edges are charred. Whatever caused this, it couldn't have been flood water or simple wear and tear. I'll have to find some other way across. This gorge is too deep to cross and the river too fierce. Well, we'll have to take your word for that because we can't actually see the, the river. We can't go to the right, so I suppose we have to go back to the left. Yeah, somebody's sitting on the ground. It's not a bandu, it's an old woman. It's a woman, I guess. An old woman, and it looks like she's in pain. Oh, please, pretty lady, pretty, please help me. I've fallen and I can't stand up. What happened to you? Oh, I was out picking bones, uh, berries, berries for my stew and flowers. Yes, pretty flowers. Then I tripped over a big old root and twisted my ankle. It hurts so. Please help me home, pretty lady, please. Picking bones? Something really odd about this uh, old lady. Where do you live? I live not far from here, not far at all. No, help me home and I'll cook you a fine stew, I promise. Yes, I promise. Just help me home and I'll reward you for your compassion. Yes, you'll have your reward. Who are you? Oh, I'm nobody, nobody at all. Just a frail old woman picking bones. Berries, picking berries for her stew so she can feed her prisoner. Guests, feed her guests and fatten them up for the long winter. 
This uh, keeps sounding more and more suspicious. But we'll deal with her in the next video.